Hey everybody, Alan Peterson here with uh, FictiveUniverse.com and AlanPeterson.com and doing this video uh, because I wanted to show you uh, this new service that uh, Amazon has finally uh, introduced to uh, for authors and for books and ebooks is uh, the uh, Amazon Attributes which allows you to uh, create uh, links uh, with tags that you can then track uh, that you can use on Facebook ads or, or Google ad words or whatever you're using it for. And it's, it basically allows you to track your links to see if uh, th if sales are being uh, attributed to that link. And it's a great way to track your uh, ad campaign. In the past, um, this wasn't possible. Facebook doesn't add, doesn't add anything that allows you to track everything from the beginning to the end. You know, from the beginning, from the time someone, for example, in a Facebook ad, if someone creates a link, if if you create an ad with a link to uh, Amazon and somebody clicks on that link. You don't really know if they actually bought anything, if they bought, if they bought your book from that link. But now you can, uh, thanks to uh, Amazon Attributes. Before, the only way you could do that really was by uh, using your Amazon affiliate ID. And that was uh, that actually um, technically violates uh, Amazon's uh, terms of service. So a lot of people were doing that, um, and there was a risk people were willing to take uh, to get the uh, data but it was very risky because amazon could close your account for violating its terms but now with the uh, uh, amazon uh, attribute uh, tags you can do this uh, and it's copacetic with amazon and with facebook and everybody so this is a great way to see if your uh, amazon ads are actually uh, turning into not just clicks which you could which you could track before but uh, to actually leading to a sale of your book and so i've been updating uh some of my ads on facebook and so i want to show you that process uh, it's very simple you go to amazon ads and if you go to your uh, measurement and reporting this link here you click on that and you'll see here amazon attribution you click on that and then you go ahead and you can create your campaign i already created one here for my uh for my first uh, book on my uh, costa rica cozy uh, mystery series and so as you can see here, let me click on that to show you. And uh, you go to the attribution tags here. You see that here, you click on that. And, uh, and I've just been, I just set this up now. That's probably, if you, if you, if you saw that link, there was no data yet. Cause I've just been doing this today. Um, but anyway, as, as you can see here, I've already created this uh, tag. And so um, all you need to really do is just uh, copy that. And then go to your Facebook uh, management, uh, to your Facebook ads. And here I am here. This is the one I've just uh, updated here. As you can see, if you scroll down to the uh, website URL uh, right here, uh, this is the uh, where you want to put that, uh, that tag. If you already have an ad, you just uh, change it. Uh, so let's see. I think this one is... Uh, just was the direct link before. Let me just double check if I haven't that I haven't changed that. And uh, yes, yeah, so as you can see, oh no, nope, I already changed that one. So it must've been this other one here. And so, yes, yeah, so if you go here, you'll see that this is just the uh, link to the, uh, to the Amazon website. Which it doesn't have any tags or anything like that. But now, so you go ahead and get rid of that. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste that on here. And as you can see now, that is that tag. And you can uh, preview the URL. You can click on that to make sure that it's work. Hit the publish. And that means it's been updated. And now if you scroll down, you'll see that the uh, website uh, URL is that uh, attribute that includes the uh, Amazon attribute. As you can see that right, right here. And like I said, if you click uh, on it and you go to the URL, here you'll see on Amazon, it's got that uh, that tag there that, that the Amazon created uh, for that link. And if you go back here, you'll see that that, that matches it as well. And then uh, once you start the getting uh, data, uh, you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to check that out. You'll be able to get the attributes. Um, like I said, I've only been doing that today, so there's no uh, data yet. Uh, but once I start uh, getting the data uh, back from uh, Amazon, um, I will share that with you guys. But it's very simple. And to create a, is very simple as well. I'm going to do another video uh, showing you how I, I created how I uh, created the uh, those attributes, uh, this attribution tags right here, this link.
So I'll show that to you in another video, but a very simple process. I uh, highly recommend you do this. It's a great way uh, to make sure that you're, uh, the money you're spending on Facebook ads, for example, is uh, delivering a return uh, for what you're uh, paying for those ads. So anyway, that's it for this video. Just want to show that to you. Really exciting uh, time. This uh, Amazon has had this attribution tags for their uh, Facebook sellers for a long time, but it's now finally um, available to us. Uh, indie publishers here, indie authors uh, for our eBooks. And so that's pretty sweet. So that's it for this video.